Hi there, I'm Lisa Taylor. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're watching on the replay, put a little hashtag replay and let me know where you're watching from. I always want to see where we are around the world. Okay, so spiritual sense beats material sense every time. Only every time. But what is spiritual sense? You know, hey Carol Humphreys, I grew up with this definition of spiritual sense. Spiritual sense. That spiritual sense is the conscious, constant capacity to understand God. That is a quote from Mary Baker Eddy, who discovered and founded Christian science, which is the law of God and these divine laws that we're talking about all the time here. So spiritual sense is the conscious, constant capacity to understand God. Why is it important to cultivate spiritual sense? What do we need it for? Well, if we know that our identity is spiritual, that our identity is the image and likeness of God, that is, we are made in the image and likeness of God, Genesis 1, kind of basic, right? If we're not conscious of that, we don't feel the effect of that. We don't feel it in our lives. It's, it doesn't change. It's not like it, it went anywhere. It's kind of like if somebody sort of calls you by the wrong name and they're, they get used to calling you by the wrong name and they're constantly, like Carol's on here. If Carol, if I met you and I remembered your name wrong and I always called you Mary, hey Mary, how hard would it be for you to go, no, my name's Carol. It's like, it's not difficult for us to correct a mistake when it comes to our identity, if somebody's calling us by the wrong name. So why do we get caught in this egoic false image of ourselves and get caught in it to the point where we feel like we can't correct it. It's this weird material sense testimony that gets us caught in believing what the five physical senses are telling us about ourselves. We need to discern and use our spiritual senses to discern our true identity and who we really are. It doesn't take any but a fraction of a second to say, no, 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 I'm, I'm Carol, I'm not Mary. We don't have to try to work at it. We don't have to try to be in the right mood. We don't have to go read something and study or get somebody to pump us up and make us do it. We know, we know who we are. Well, that's what spiritual sense tells us and why spiritual sense, the conscious constant capacity to understand God, why does that help us know who we are? because we're made in the image and likeness of God. So if we know God, we know who we are. I am that I am. How long does it say, how long does it take us to say I am? Not long, I am. What follows after I am needs to be something that is true about God. We've talked about that before. It's actually a really good, easy trick. If you start hearing that mortal sense, that false ego, tell you lies about yourself, it's really easy to plug in, I am, God is. If it's not true about God, it's not true about you. So, spiritual sense, a conscious, constant capacity to understand God, trumps the material senses. So today, I don't usually sneeze much, but I sneezed like three times in a row. And I don't, if I do sneeze, I don't sneeze many times in a row. It was very odd. People in the office kind of were like, oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. And the temptation was to think because people in the office had been kind of not feeling well and not coming in and blah, blah, blah. The temptation was to think, oh, I don't feel very well. And if I were following my physical senses and listening to the material sense testimony, I might have been tempted to kind of go down that path and start feeling sorry for myself and start feeling like, oh, I just need to go lie down. I need to go take some time. But instead, I chose to look at myself and identify myself with spiritual sense. What does God know about me in this moment? A sneeze, no big deal, sneeze. Oh well, let it go by. Don't have to focus on it. Don't have to pay attention to it. Don't have to make something of it. Don't have to think that that's part of who I am. So I'm not going to be long tonight, but I want us all to think about this. Think about 
the quickness that we can change our focus from material sense to spiritual sense. It doesn't take time to correct a mistake, to recognize it and correct it. So use your spiritual sense. When the material sense testimony tries to tempt you with something, immediately say, hang on, that's what the physical senses, the material senses may be telling me, but what are the spiritual senses telling me? And cultivate that conscious, constant capacity to understand God. The spiritual sense of who we are is constant. It's not based in time or space or matter. It's constant. Who we were made to be is who we are. And that doesn't ever change. It has never changed. It's not based in time or space or physicality or matter. It's based in spirit. Was always the same, will always be the same. So when we tune into God, when we have that conscious sense of who God is, we can in that moment understand and, and see who we are because we are the reflection of God. Conscious, constant capacity. So because that identity of who we are is always there, all we need to do is become conscious of it. So we can be over here looking at the material senses and feeling like this is who we are, me sneezing today and starting to feel like eh. Or I can be conscious in that moment of the spiritual sense of who I am, be conscious in that moment of God, and become conscious of who I have always been and who I am. I am that I am, as God made me to be. So spiritual sense, it always beats the material senses. Think about one, one last example and then I'm gonna go. Think about the material senses back in Columbus's day, back in the day when the earth was flat, and all of a sudden they became conscious of the truth of what was going on. The truth of what was going on is that the world was round and they weren't gonna fall off the edge of the planet if they sailed out into the sea. But their belief that it was flat governed their experience. If they became conscious in a moment of the truth of what was going on, this is obviously an example because we're talking about the physical realm, but it's an example. As soon as the truth is known, everything changes. So as soon as we become conscious of the truth of ourself, of our being, everything in our experience changes because then we can experience what has always been true about us. It's not like we're changing the truth by becoming conscious. It's always true. We are becoming conscious of the truth. And that's how instantaneous healing happens. It's not that something is changing and shifting. It's that now we are conscious of what we've always been. And then it's funny in that moment, the physical senses and what we, what we were aware of through the physical senses and the material senses, it just leaves thought. It just dissolves into its native nothingness. So if you are challenged, in fact, one other thought, there was somebody who uh, PM'd me, private messaged me, and was talking about giving up on themselves or feeling like they didn't trust themselves and they didn't trust their spiritual intuition. And it's not like if you didn't trust yourself for the last three weeks, you can't start trusting yourself tomorrow. It's not like if you've made a mistake over and over and over again, you have to continue to make that mistake or there's some big challenge in shifting thought. If it's not working, which material senses aren't going to, they're not gonna work, they're gonna cause you trouble. If it's not working, don't keep going back to that. Change, spiritual sense, try spiritual sense. It will go much better for you, trust me. All right, that is my message. Spiritual sense beats material sense every time. Spiritual sense, the conscious, constant capacity to understand God. So as we understand God better, we are understanding our identity better. That's my message. That's it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. There are a bunch of you on here live. This is kind of cool. Thanks for all the hearts. 
Um, always feel free. I should just mention this. Always feel free to reach out to me. I, um, I do work with people. I love working with people. It is my joy and my pleasure. And I absolutely love that you join me on here. And I, and I hope that these ideas help you in some way. And if you feel like you might be able to help somebody else by sharing it, please share. It's here. I love this. I, I just want to give to you in this way. So thanks for watching. Love you guys.